Hey, this is Harper with Harp's Garage. Uh, I just had to turn my truck around and just pulled up at a, another storage unit. We got this one today for $139 and some change. I really went after this one because of the weight plates. I could see the bar. It's a good Olympic size bar. Olympic size plates. Pretty cool looking case over there, if you know what I'm talking about. Toolboxes. A weight bench. You can see it's an incline rack. It's not bad looking, but the seat's trash. Um, a couple of tent bags. Big old igloo cooler. Let's see if there's anything in it. No, thankfully. So that's good. We'll get that loaded. Um, some little odds and ends. It's a pipe. Don't need any conduit. Looks like another tent, it's like pop up tent, because there's one right there too underneath that sprocket. Uh, and then a whole toolbox full of tools that I don't necessarily need, but you never know what kind of tools there may be. That's a heavy chain. So we had a motorcycle guy. Clearly. Because of that sprocket. And uh, it's a ceiling fan, but those are... Those are movies, it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Some movies in there. I think the weights uh, and the weight set. I'm going to clean... Sorry. <laughs> Thought that was on the other angle view, but the bar and the weight sets will do pretty good. I'll clean that up and um, can probably get that listed and flipped pretty easily. See if there's anything in here. Some stuff. Ooh, look, binoculars. Them are some real nice binoculars. It's a PS4 game. some other stuff in there. That's cool. I can't, uh, it's a box of some sort. I'm curious as to why it's in a pillowcase. I think it's nothing. Yeah, let's just try it. There's some remotes. There may be some other stuff in there. Nothing in this one, more than likely. There's nothing there. But yeah, that's not too bad. Need his hat. Ball world. Some ball wings. That's not bad. It's in good shape. Put some leather on it. That's a Big heavy. That's heavy. Right. Something for a motorcycle, no doubt. I messed up. It's all on my fault. Um, I'm not sure how big of a mess up yet, though. We're about to find out. But I sold this. I'll put a picture. It's an Ozark Trail two room instant shower utility shelter. And there are tons of sales of these on there. Uh, they're all new. A lot of them ship from China for like 70 to 80 bucks. Well, I got one out of the recent locker that we have and it's missing the, the, the rain, the rain guard. I forgot what it's called. Um, and it's missing some of the shower poles that go on the inside, but it, it sets up, it erects. I put it out there. Uh, and it's super easy to put up. So I thought, I'll put it 50. All the other ones were 89 free shipping. I thought well, I'll put it 50 free shipping because uh, I'm pretty sure I can do UPS for maybe 15, 20 dollars somewhere in there. Maybe cheaper. We'll find out. We're about to find out. But anyways, uh, it sold today, the same day I put it up. However, I forgot I had a public coupon out there for 25 percent off. So uh, they bought it with the 25 percent off 
which at $50, it gave them a deduction, I think of $12 and change. Minus all the fees, the promotions, when it's all done, I'm in the profit $29 and something, which is not bad. Cause if I kept it, I'd have sold it for maybe 20 bucks at a yard, so I would try. However, I still gotta do shipping. And it's this big. And I'm gonna try, I think, and get it in one of these, the, the six by six uh, box that I usually ship golf clubs in. We're gonna see if we can stuff it in there and use that for shipping. And if so, I think that'll help us a little bit on cost. So let's see what we can do. Now, it's really the best angle I got for this on my mess. Okay. Well, it collapses a little bit. So that's good. Keep going. Oh, nice, nice. Keep going. Oh, yes. All right. Let's tape the end of it. Oh. oh, and it's got a little bit, a uh, little bit left. So I think I can cut that. Maybe make the dimensions just a little bit more friendly. All right. Let's see the damage on the weight. It is, wow, 16 pounds. I was not expecting 16 pounds. Um, jeez, 16 pounds. And this thing is, I don't know, 44 inches. Go back 16 44 6 by 6 that says $32 but that's priority mail it's priority mail we have a chance let's change it from priority mail to flat rate envelope I'm just kidding uh, let's see first up is UPS ground for $14.85. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So at $14.85 at $29 and change, I think it puts us right at, <laughs> sorry, puts us right at $14 in the profit on this, which is really not bad. Um, but it's not the best. It is not the best. Had I, had I been thoughtful and thinking through with that coupon being out there, uh, I wouldn't have put it at free shipping. Um, uh, I would have, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have put it at, at, at free shipping. That's completely my error. Uh, but, you know, still coming out 14 bucks in my pocket. Not too bad. You may remember our, there was the weight bench and the weights and the bar and everything that was in there. And so I, you know, had a couple of the high school kids that I was trying to sell it to, but I actually sold it to a colleague at work. She paid 160 for everything, which paid me back for the locker. At that point, I was looking to break even, and we've got plans for the tent and other equipment. But it turns out the bench seat is way more rotted than what I thought. It just came off, and so it's down to just the bare component of stuff. I knew I had to replace that seat, but I really thought the back was good but it's not also as far as that locker goes uh, there was a bushnell camping tent we thought it was just one of the regular pop-up tents uh here it is right here and uh it's super nice and it's super easy to put together all the poles are already connected you can put the whole thing up by yourself so we decided to keep that because my wife is a big fan of camping and we really haven't been camping in a long time so that we kept the blue tent that was in there, we also kept, and it's actually appeared in other videos where we were doing stuff outside in the sun, I think just two videos ago, where we were going through 
uh, all those boxes. That, that was the same tent we were under at that point. Um, but whenever I get a locker like this, I usually give it a name. And everything I list out of that locker, I put that name under the custom SKU. Um, so it makes it real easy at this point when I start running what all has sold. And I know there's also this other uh, handheld walkie-talkie that sold in there. And there was some other stuff that was like peripherals for it. But I don't remember everything and I forgot to put that SKU on there. Mainly because I had two lockers that came in together about the same time. Uh, and I, I think I just mixed up a lot of labels that I had. So I know I sold more stuff probably than what's here, but I'm going to say, uh, whatever this final total is, is that's all I remember that even that Adidas hat, um, I know I sold an Adidas hat for $5. So it was not a lot. Um, but I don't remember if it was from, uh, this locker or another thing I did where I purchased a bunch of hats because I didn't put that custom skew on there so I didn't even include it so the potential for this locker is probably greater than this but this is all I can report uh from what we sold oh I can I can throw up uh another 20 bucks uh for the toolbox that was in there because I sold it uh to one of our neighbors um who had asked about it. It's like, yeah, so put that in there. I know this video is probably shorter than most of the other ones, but I appreciate you watching. Uh, and I think, and I thank you for all of your comments and feedback. If you haven't already, feel free to click that like button and be sure to subscribe so you can get those monthly updates of videos. Hopefully we'll start cranking those out a little bit faster. Uh, but thanks for your support, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Now. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll check you next time. We'll check you. We'll check you. We'll check you.